cream and jam buns. How could you not love them? Just look how perfect these look. Let me show you how you can make them. So grab your large bowl. We're going to start by adding in six cups of bread flour, two teaspoons of white sugar, one teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of instant dried yeast, three tablespoons of oil, and 620 mils of warm water. You're going to combine that all together and then you're going to knead it for about five minutes. Add in any extra flour as needed to make sure that it's not too sticky. Then I'm going to pop that into a lightly oiled bowl and cover it and let it rest for about an hour. After an hour, it should have doubled in size. Degas your dough by punching out the air, turn it onto a lightly floured or oiled surface, then you'll need to divide it into however many buns you want to get. I ended up getting 20 buns out of this. Now roll them into balls and then we're going to pop them onto a lined baking tray and leave them to rest for a further 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, you can pop it in the oven at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. While those are cooking, I need to make a quick glaze to go on top, so we need to add in equal parts white sugar and boiling water and give it a mix until it's all dissolved. Once it's dissolved, pop it to the side. Then you need to grab your buns out of the oven and while they're still nice and hot, you want to brush over that sugar glaze we made and then leave it to cool. After it's cooled a bit, I grabbed a knife and I made some little slices through the center of each of the bread rolls. I popped that to the side to allow it to cool completely and I whipped up some cream. So I added about 300 ml of thickened cream here and about four to five heaped tablespoons of icing mixture, a dash of vanilla and whipped it until it was nice stiff peaks. Once I have nice stiff peaks, I grabbed my bread rolls, I popped the cream into a piping bag and I also grabbed a piping bag full of jam. So I piped them both into our buns. Now you can pipe all of your fillings into your buns if you plan to eat them that day, but if you don't plan to eat them straight away, just hold off piping in the cream until you do plan to eat them. Pipe in whatever your favorite jam is. I'm using strawberry jam today, and then I dusted over some icing mixture for the perfect cream buns. Just look at those bad boys. 